Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another pick a card reading. I do one on my channel every single Friday. Okay, so today we're going to be getting into this new moon that we're having in the sign of Sagittarius. Uh, it's on December 3rd or 4th, depending on where you are in the world. I already have a few videos up of a few rituals you could do and also five things you should know about this Sagittarius new moon to navigate it in your favor. So what I'm gonna have you do is pick a card pile, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, or pile number four. So whichever one draws you in, whichever one pulls you in, that's the one that you're going to pick. And while you guys are choosing your pile, I do want to mention two new oils in my shop that a lot of you have been asking for. Um, my Saraswati oil, this is what I use whenever I do readings and divinations. This is really good for that. And then I have my Attraction Oud oil back up in stock. I only made a few, but they should be up. If you're interested, then head over to my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link down below. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this new moon in Sagittarius and what it's bringing for you. Pile number one. Let's go ahead and get into your reading and see what the Sagittarius new moon is going to be bringing for you. Okay, so we have a few tarot cards that came out in your reading. I pre-shuffled the cards. So the first card that comes out is the Ten of Pentacles. So 10 is the highest number that you could go in tarot and it basically foretells like the highest you could go in an area right now currently in your life. So the Sagittarius new moon. For a lot of you is bringing the highest potential of yourself uh, out. And in this case, it has to do with earth energy, materialistic things, accomplishments, achievements, manifestation, really bringing something into your physical reality, like manifesting. So there's going to be a lot of things you're gonna be manifesting around this new moon in Sagittarius. Um, and then we have the sun. So this is a really good reading for you. The sun card, the sun card actually uh, lights up everything that it is put near. So in this case, something very exciting is coming to you materialistically. So a lot of you with this new moon, I see going forward with um, maybe buying a house, buying a big, big purchase, getting that job. Um, maybe you are like inheriting some money it's just a lot of abundance coming in but in the physical form like very materialistic abundance coming in and the sun is lighting it up this new moon for you we also have the star look at this the sun and the star together this is a very very lucky new moon for you and i highly suggest that you work this in your favor as much as you can and that means you work with orange candles, yellow candles, um, get yourself maybe a nice arrow jewelry, uh, arrow decorations, do arrow spells or spells that contain arrows in them, archers, centaurs, those things are going to be very, they're going to benefit you if you work with them around this new moon because it all has to do with Sagittarius and the Sagittarius new moon is bringing you a lot of benefit. And then the last tarot card that came up for you is the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is the growth and fruitfulness of the seeds that you have already planted. So something that you've already put in motion is going to be manifesting big time around this new moon. So keep an eye out for that. And the star also is a renewal of energy. It's hope. And the sun is lighting that up. So a lot of you are going to feel extra bubbly, extra fiery, and just very um, uplifted, you know, whereas before maybe things would stress you out more. This time it's not going to stress you out as much just because of this energy and the way that it's affecting you. I do want to get into my little book right here, head over to the Eight of Pentacles so I'm not missing anything to tell you guys. Eight of Pentacles also relates to work and talents and turning your passions and your talents and gifts into an income. A lot of you, there's new employment or like a big change in employment coming with this new moon. 
it's money earned and it's really um going forward with a business or a new job or a promotion a raise something like that so for you guys specifically that's what i see coming in uh and then i pulled an herb card for you and i pulled two oracle cards so the two oracle cards that came up for you is uncovering treasure and then we have here fellow travelers interesting so uncovering treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty lots of money coming in abundance coming in opportunities keep an eye on this new moon and anything you want to attract aim shoot your shot and you're going to attract it and then we have the fellow travelers card here i see your love life blooming with this new moon something is going to bloom in your love life support is all around you and um so i feel like you're going to find support within your love life so keep that in mind too and the herb for you to work with is bay leaves so what you would do i actually have a video last year that i posted about um you draw the sagittarius symbol on a bay leaf and then you write your wish on it because basically you're aiming shooting your shot and you're going to manifest that with bay leaf energy so you could do that work with bay leaves this new moon write your wish on it burn it you there's so many videos i have of different ways you could use bay leaves but it's going to be very lucky for you because the whole energy of this new moon in sagittarius is very lucky for you so that's your reading thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and have a really happy new moon and i'll talk to you very soon for everybody that picked pile number two, let's get into your reading and see what the Sagittarius new moon is bringing for you. First card that I see here is the world. So something is coming into full circle. Something is coming into fruition, to a completion. It's the final stages of an, uh, of an aspect of your life or of a, um, a situation in your life. Now, we also have here the Magician. So these two cards next to each other is very, very powerful because the Magician is alchemy. It's pure alchemy. So it's basically you have mended, merged, blended, combined things in your life. Whatever they may be, it could be different kinds of emotions that you've pulled from different situations in your life. Different lessons you have learned, different people you want to keep in your life. It just seems like you it's it's all you have done something to change a situation to a better outcome than it was before. And that is all the magician. And each one of us has the magician within ourselves. And I feel like the Sagittarius new moon is going to be activating your magician. Therefore, there's going to be a lot of completion in your life, a lot of closure finding peace, um, ending stages of difficult situations, and starting a new stage in your life where you leave the old behind. You know how the tree has to shed the leaves? It has to. It doesn't have a choice. And then the new leaves will bloom again. So I feel like that's kind of something that's happening with you with the Sagittarius new moon. Old leaves are falling away and you're kind of becoming okay with letting your old leaves fall away, if that makes sense. You know, your old habits, your old structures, your old everything. Sagittarius came to just knock it all down. And this eclipse energy also is affecting you a little bit more uh, than the other piles, I feel like. Um, I also want to share with you, if you look in these two cards, they have all four elements in both cards. So they have earth, water, air, and fire, earth, water, air, and fire. Uh, so work with four elements during this new moon. For you guys especially, it's going to be very favorable, very beneficial, and things will work in your favor if you have something of each element when you are manifesting, when you are doing your spell, or your ritual, or when you are journaling or making your vision board, or even keep something of the four elements on your altar. It's very powerful because it pulls and draws in from the four elements in order to have, in order for you to shoot your shot, just like a Sagittarius. Now, the last tarot card that came out for you is the King of Pentacles. So there's a lot of abundance coming in with the King of Pentacles. This is an energy that um, knows what to do with their money and they are responsible and 
they just know what to do with the resources that they have. They, they just know what to do. So I feel like a lot of insight will come in with this new moon where you just will know what to do. And you'll be guided and led in your spell work, in your spirituality, in your manifestation work and all of that. Even in your career, your love life, you will be led. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities around you and pay attention to the four elements. Pay attention to air every day. Pay attention to earth. Okay, the ground you walk on, you know, the soil, all of that. Pay attention to water. What kind of fluids are you intaking? Pay attention to, what else, fire. Is your body comfortable? Are you too hot? <laughs> um, are you too heated? Are you too, you know, fiery? Now, the King of Pentacles also brings messages of very earthly achievements. For you guys, I highly suggest you go and read group number one's reading too because I feel like it's meant for you. It kind of goes off of this reading. So, King of Pentacles also is an energy that loves riches and they're very, very smart in business and finances. They're very hard workers and they are very, they're not easily corrupted. They're very like um, true hearted people. And uh, this is a card of entrepreneurship. And this is a card of reliability. So there's so many messages that are coming through with these three cards alone. Your spirit guides are telling you that you can rely on them. And this Sagittarius, they're asking you to aim, point, shoot your shot. And that means work on your manifestation however you do that. Some people use spells, some people use visualization, some people will journal, some people will script. Everybody has different forms of manifesting. Whatever is more comfortable to you or more natural to you. If you like working with candles, if you like working with pen and paper, figure it out what it is. Uh, and this new moon, use it. We have two other, oh no, three other cards. So I pulled two oracle cards for you and then I pulled a herb card. So the oracle cards that came up for you is Vast Vistas and Finding Sanctuary. This is so funny because these are like two opposites of the spectrum. We have Vast Vistas, which is expanding your horizons, going outside of your comfort zone, stepping outside of the box. You know, I feel like a lot of you have stepped outside of the box but you're just still sitting on top of the box and you're not moving forward and it's the ending of that phase where you're just kind of stuck there and then we have finding sanctuary which is opening to your spiritual source and that's where the magician card comes in i feel like there's this energy of where it's the yin and yang where both your masculine and feminine energies are merging and they're blending and they're working together versus like one overpowering the other that's very, very good because you will find a lot of inner peace and roads start to open when you merge and blend these two energies together within yourself, which is what the magician does. Now, the last card is an herb card that came up for you, and that's turmeric for diversity. Perfect herb for you to work with. First of all, it's yellow. It is very much corresponding with Sagittarius energy. It creates... Okay, so when you want to spice something up, you want to use turmeric. When something is stagnant or dull or boring, or when you want to push an energy through and make it exciting again, or, you know, when you want to just make something, yeah, basically that's the perfect way I could describe turmeric to you, is to make something exciting, to make something fun. So if you are trying to manifest love, if you're trying to manifest money, if you're trying to manifest a new job, you want it to be fun, right? Sprinkle a little bit of turmeric in there. Sprinkle a little bit of turmeric into your spell work. Uh, dab a little bit of turmeric oil on your uh, journals. You could get really creative with it. You can make a spray out of it. You can um, use it as facial oil. You could do a turmeric face mask. I have videos on my channel showing you how to do that. But yeah, that is what came up for you. I hope you guys have a really great new moon and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Pile number three. Let's go ahead and see what this new moon in Sagittarius is bringing for you. So I pulled some cards from Tarot, I pulled some cards from Oracle, and I pulled an herb card. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with you. First card that comes up is the Devil. Okay, so this new moon is going to be highlighting aspects of your life that you need 
to just kind of redo a little bit. And in this case, it's aspects of your life where you run to something or someone as an escape. What are you using as an escape? Because the Sagittarius new moon, I feel like is going to take you away from that. So, you know, sometimes we use, we binge watch TV as an escape or we use uh, alcohol or cannabis or sex or, you know, um, we consume way too much gossip, you know, or uh, crime TV or, you know, these are ultimately lower vibrational topics. And so sometimes we become addicted to it. Sometimes we go down a spiral. Sometimes we lose ourselves into something that is so negative, you know. So I feel like Sagittarius is going to kind of pull you out of that. Now the next three cards that we have, three tarot cards that came up for you. The next one is Nine of Pentacles. Okay. The first thought that came into my head with this nine of pentacles is for a lot of you, are you running away from responsibility? Like, are you trying to escape your own responsibilities? Because the Sagittarius new moon is going to tell you, you cannot do that. You cannot be running away from your own responsibilities uh, and using, you know, escape to run away from things that you need to take care of and that you need to do. So I feel like this Sagittarius new moon, a lot of things that you've been procrastinating are going to, you're going to be taking care of those. Uh, Nine of Pentacles also brings the message of materialistic benefits coming in. And this Sagittarius new moon is going to show you where in your life you were blocking your own materialistic benefits from coming in. This is a card of abundance. This is a card of a lot of hard work and determination that you've had that's finally going to pay off. And one of the reasons maybe it wasn't paying off is because you were getting in your own way. Nine of Pentacles comes to show you how to enjoy your own success and how to have closure and inner peace over a situation or something that was making you not have that inner peace. Nine of Pentacles also makes a lot of people, a lot of successful people, um, sometimes you get suffocated by your own success, which means the more success that comes, the more busy you are, the more, you know, deadlines are important and this is more important. Like things become increased in importance and deadlines are there and there's more responsibilities. And I feel like a lot of you kind of run from that. Like you, you've obtained, you know, the whatever it is you wanted, but you're also kind of becoming a little pressured and suffocated by it. And the Sagittarius new moon is going to just redirect your energy so that you can enjoy what you manifested. Five of Wands is rivalry. Like I feel like you manifested something but and you're trying to protect it with all your might, but you're not in letting yourself enjoy it. So this Sagittarius new moon is going to change that for you. It's going to make you enjoy something that you have manifested. You aimed you shot your shot and you hit your target and you got it. But you just will not for the life of you let yourself enjoy it. And the Sagittarius new moon is going to be changing that. The eclipse energy is going to be changing that for you. We have the three of cups. A lot of you have really, really bad, irrational, <laughs> chaotic assumptions. Like don't assume things, okay? Don't assume things because you're self-sabotaging and it's just getting in your own way and it's the devil card energy where you just self-sabotage and you get in your own head. Uh, so Three of Cups is telling you, look, you, you need to enjoy what you have, okay? Stop fighting your own thoughts. Stop fighting what you manifested and enjoy it. Now, the two Oracle cards that came out for you is, yes, this is totally understandable. Fogged in. Go slow and take time. A lot of you have just been very fogged in and mentally confused, mentally just not been able to focus or be motivated or be inspired and not really know where you're going. And the Sagittarius New Moon is perfect for you because you're going to uh, settle all of those things in your mind, if that makes sense. The next card that comes up is Wondrous Universe Walk in Beauty. So take your time. You'll get to where you need to go. 
uh, it's just a process right now and things are unraveling and things are going on and you're letting go of negative habits and thoughts and beliefs and even fighting the things that you manifest, you know? So go slow and um, enjoy yourself, this Sagittarius new moon. There's a lot going on for you. And the herb card that came up for you is garlic. So use garlic around this new moon. You can use garlic to cook. You can use garlic in black candles to repel negative energy. Um, I would use garlic and rosemary in a white candle with a little bit of your hair because it will help your mind clear up and, and just make your mind alive again, basically. Uh, see beauty everywhere because rosemary is a very feminine herb and it's associated with the sun and it just makes you see things it makes you see thing, beautiful things, it lights up beautiful things with that sun energy and the feminine energy also helps to see you, make you see the beauty around you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye. For everybody that picked pile number four, let's go ahead and see what the Sagittarius new moon is bringing for you. So I pulled some tarot cards, some oracle cards, and an herb card for you to work with. So let's start with the tarot. First card that comes up is justice here. It's not even in the frame, sorry you guys. Okay, I'm gonna actually lay down all of them before I start reading so we see what's going on overall. Okay. Okay, lots going on over here. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Okay, and then we have the Justice and Seven of Swords. Justice card. New Moon in Sagittarius might be bringing in some new information legally that you really need to know. Um, and also, before signing any kind of legal documents, you know, going into business or partnerships with anybody, make sure you know all the details. Make sure that you... Um, also, mind your tongue. Like, don't say anything to offend anybody that you're about to go into business with, especially with this new moon and Sagittarius. I know that Sagittarian energy is very sharp and blunt with their tongue. So you may feel that, you know, you just want to be very honest and blunt and you just want to get your point straight across, you know. But try to uh, present your point in a very respectable, nice, positive manner, <laughs> I guess. Um... The Justice card is a Libra card. So for a lot of you, you may be tapping into this Libra energy of just trying to balance everything out, trying to balance your words with your emotions. A lot of you may be, um, there's a lot of relationships in your life that have been affected with harsh words. And those relationships may be revisited around this new moon in Sagittarius. Um, a lot of you are going to be... Uh, there's a lot of mental clarity coming in, you know, you're fighting your battles using your mind versus your words. It's a big energy around the Sagittarius new moon for you guys, uh, using your head versus using your heart. A lot of you are going to follow your head um, with fairness and with reason. And reason and thought is going to be needed to override your emotions. In this case, your emotions are going to come up. A lot of emotions are going to come up, this Sagittarius new moon, of um, that have to do with these three topics on this card, which is intellectual energy. You're going to want to feed your intellect, okay? Energetic energy. You, you, you're going to have energy and you're going to want to express it and use it. And then spontaneous energy. You don't want dull and boring and mundane and routine. You know, you want something fun and exciting and you may get pissy around people around you that just kind of want to, you know, you, you just want kind of excitement around this new moon and people that are not on board with you, you're just like, mm, you know, you can stay home then. But be mindful of your tongue when you say that. Uh, a lot of you, there's a lot of closure coming in for something, legal contracts, legal paperwork, legal things are going to go through in a way that you didn't expect. Uh, in your favor, of course. Uh, and then I want to go over the King of Swords card. 
King of Swords is an interesting card to come right on top of the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups expresses herself and her emotions. She's very in tune with how she feels and she's not afraid to express it and she expresses it in a very healthy way. Now the King of Swords is very sharp with his mouth and tongue and they're very, very wise. And it's also a Libra energy and it, this, um, This card brings and it's like foretelling of a person that has a lot of strong morals that is very deeply committed uh, and they have this need to enjoy life and value life and they have a need for harmony and beauty. Now King of Swords is also an energy that is feared and respected. Now in this case all of these energies are turned upside down so it means Maybe you were trying way too hard, you know, to manifest this life where you enjoyed it and you valued it, you had harmony and you had peace. But in manifesting it, you threw out so much of this energy of like, why don't I have it? Why isn't it coming to me? All of that stuff. And this new moon in Sagittarius is going to show you that you don't need to try so hard because you come into your own way. Seven of Swords is kind of like you're coming into your own way. Self-sabotage. I'm going to go ahead and pull the Seven of Swords from my little book here so I don't miss anything that I need to say to you. Okay, Seven of Swords is asking you to come out into the open about something as well. So express yourself, express something that needs to be expressed. With the Queen of Cups, you're going to be having a very important conversation around this new moon in uh, Sagittarius. And also a lot of you are going to be getting away with something legally. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. Uh, and also, be strategic and take action and um, use your mind and use shortcuts around this new moon. And they may be presented to you too. And another thing to keep in mind right now is charm is needed for this situation, not aggression. And don't keep secrets. So all of those messages came up for you. Now I'm going to go ahead and get into the two oracle cards that came up for you. First one is Journey by Moonlight, Believe in Magic. Okay, and then the second one is surrendering to the journey, so release control. So, you know, your spirits and your guides are asking you to stop trying so hard because you don't need to. They're going to be working in your favor, in your behalf, but you need to release control so that they can do things that they need to do in the uh, spiritual realm in order for whatever this is to go through. Now, the herb for you is mugwort. So use mugwort around this new moon time. You can make mugwort tea. You can keep mugwort underneath your pillow, your mattress. You can use mugwort on white candles, blue candles, purple candles. And mugwort is something that raises your intuition. It helps you find inner peace. It's really good for dreaming, uh, healing, protection of just your mind and your thoughts and your third eye, your crown chakra. Mugwort is really good for just calming yourself down and just really getting into your head and calming your thoughts. And it's a beautiful herb to work with when it comes to your mind. And a lot of you, I feel like there's going to be this realignment happening between your mind and your thoughts and your heart and your emotions. And you're gonna learn to release more control so, so that your mind is not so overactive. And mugwort is something that could really, really help you. Uh, so yeah. That is your reading. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very, very soon.